hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to learn a wordpress ajax and let's come to the point so for wordpress ajax we will need three things one is the empty container which is div with unique id or class so in this container we will put the ajax response then we need ajax script a js to call the ajax and the ajax function which is a php function to get the result so this will call the ajax this function will uh, fetch results and that result will be append into this empty container so this is my local site we will continue working on our pro uh, plugin so if you don't know how to create plugin the link is coming into the i button so uh, let's go to one of the post i'm going to add a container into a uh, content it could be anywhere at your point at your place whatever you want to add I'm going to add in this post content so I'm going to edit this post and here I already added so let's add an empty container if you can see div uh, I have created an empty div with post list ID so update it so whatever ajax we will put uh, it will add the response in that empty div let's see if we have that div over here yes we have our div post list now uh, we have the official page ajax in plugins i am going to use that so this is so first empty container is added now it's time to add an ajax script which is chase to call an ajax so i'm going to copy this uh, before that uh, let's create a new page custom ajax.php and let's include that file now uh, copy this function I will explain what this function does so we have added this function into admin footer instead we will add in WP footer so that it will be added in front ends footer script so in the footer we are adding this script which will call the ajax so for wordpress ajax we need action this is the necessary parameter uh, using this action it will call the function so let's give a name to the action Uh, you can pass any other parameter
and this is the syntax to call an ajax to send an ajax request now this is done uh, an ajax script you can put this script into your custom js as well but for the sake of showing how to do this i am adding this into the php and i am adding into the footer now uh, third and last parameter which is php function to get result so how to define this php function so this function should be defined based on this action so as we have given this name custom ajax action we have to add a new action action name should be wp ajax underscore this action name so this is the way to define an action so this action will call when this uh, ajax request is uh, processed and you can give whatever num name and now we can do whatever in this um, in this function so what am I going to do is I'm going to get 10 post I'm going to get 10 post title over here make sure you have to return variable from this function don't echo just return so what am i doing over here we have defined this action based on this action we have added this action wp ajax and the name of action defined over here we are not going to use this parameter i just showed you how to pass uh, another parameters and in this function i am fetching all the post 10 posts title i have looked through this query and lastly i am returning the post list of post titles over here so we have called this function on the ready of page so whenever we, we load our page this function will call so now let's try to load the page and let's check if our function is calling or not so for that we will go to network and refresh something is not correct so ajax url is not defined so this ajax url is not defined let's check why generally it should define okay it is defined but it is after our script so let's give a last priority to this function and let's see okay now it is 
below this. So remember whenever it is not defined you can define it by yourself otherwise you can check the page source and see how it is defined I'm going to use this Ajax object dot Ajax URL generally you can use direct this parameter and if this doesn't work see the source and see how it is defined now let's try to check again okay our our, para, our ajax request is successful now as you can see this is our Ajax request and at the it is it is alerting something because we have added an alert over here okay uh, remember sorry not echo just uh, not return just echo the result and don't forget to add exit in this function otherwise we will get zero in the response so now let's refresh and as you can see now we are getting the list of post over here now now it's time to append our result into that empty div so jquery our id which was post list then html html or append whatever and now we will hard refresh so as you can see it is appending the 10 post titles over here let's check the ajax parameter so this is the action parameter which we pass over here this is another ABC one two three we are not using but you can add parameters based on your requirement and this function okay let me show you one more thing let's visit so currently I am logging let's visit this page somewhere where I am not logged in and let's check the Ajax response over here refresh and here is the Ajax Ajax request it should be our Ajax request yes and let's check the response we are getting zero so here we are getting the list of post and here we are getting zero the reason behind this is this action only refers to logged in WordPress if you want to have same result in non logged in then we have to add another action with this action WP Ajax no preview this is WordPress predefined actions 
and these are WordPress rule so if you want to have uh, run Ajax in non logged in WordPress then you have to add that action and now let's try to and now as you can see we are getting our result so yeah this is the request and now we are getting actual response instead of zero so this is how you can add WordPress Ajax uh, in your plugin uh, let me know if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section I will try to give an answer as soon as possible thanks for watching the video